out. Here's my um, 2009 Yamaha TW200. So it's pretty custom. It's got a new tank, seat, indicators, new bar, new lights, and gauges. New paint job, Yamaha blue gloss. Alright, and so the mods done for turbo. New turbo, exhaust manifold, some headers, you know, that's it there. It's quite a short pipe, stainless, and then the, the VZ21 turbo, some, some drain line. This return line goes from the center of this cap here. And just got some aluminium pipe for the, for the boost. It goes through here to some elbows. And then there's a carburetor, it's got a blow off valve. Yep. And to make the carburetor work, to get the carburetor working with the turbo, you have to pressurize the bowl with this. The airlines, so that's some, a lot of gauges here, a lot of boost gauge, boost line. I mean, so I've got a teed off to all three of these. Um, those are quite loose. Um, uh, so I've got all the t, all the um, boost lines teed into the carburetor, and each of the drains, three drains. And when the boost comes on, it just pressurizes it so it can still have fuel come out the through the uh, main jet and stuff. So it still works, yeah, it works as normal. But you have to have a fuel pump that's it there, which works pretty good. For some reason, the throttle was sticking, and it's pretty scary because you, you, your engine's going full throttle. Full boost, it's pretty scary, so I need to sort that out. I'm like, you know, EFI will fix that. That's more money spent, but it's alright, it's worth it. But this is just a test to see if I can get carb to work. So the um, oil supply coming out of the other side of the case. Oil supply through the int through the oil cooler to the turbo. Yeah, it just works, works good. Double the horsepower, I reckon. Easy.